Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shad Aqeed. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today the President of the National Audit Office, the NAO, Hassan bin Khalifa Al Jalahma, at Rafah Palace. The Deputy King praised the NAO's important role in protecting public funds, highlighting that issues of non compliance will be addressed through effective and efficient measures. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of continuing to promote Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030's principles of sustainability, fairness and transparency across all work streams. The Deputy King concluded by emphasizing the importance of strengthening NAO's collaboration with all public entities to improve operational efficiency in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development program. For his part, the President of the NAO extended his thanks to His Royal Highness for supporting the NAO's work, highlighting the Deputy King's directives to follow up on the progress of addressing issues highlighted in the 2017 to 2018 report. The Deputy Prime Minister Jawad Larayad, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa honored today the graduation ceremony for the 11th commissioning class of the Royal Academy of Police Cadet Officers which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness. Upon arriving at the graduation ceremony, the Deputy King was welcomed by the Ministry of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and other senior officers. The Deputy King emphasized the key role the Ministry of Interior plays in maintaining security in the Kingdom, which represents a vital pillar for building on and expanding the Kingdom's achievements under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also recognized the Ministry of Interior's significant contribution to the stability of the Kingdom and extended congratulations to the commissioning officers. They commended the officers who will play an important role in protecting Bahrain's citizens and residents. The Deputy King paid tribute to those Bahraini soldiers and officers who sacrificed their lives defending their country and went on to note that Bahrain's Commemoration Day, which falls on the 17th of December, is a reminder of their selfless dedication and commitment.
the Deputy King inspected the Officer Cadets Parade ahead of the commissioning parade. He also honored the top achievers and Officer Cadets took their oath. Then the Minister of Interior delivered the following speech. Sayyidi Sahib al-Sumu al-Malaki al-Amir Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, 
نائب جلالة الملك المفدى ولي العهد حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والمعالي الحضور الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يشرفني بخالص الفخر والامتنان باسمي ونيابة عن منتسبي وزارة الداخلية أن أرحب بمقدم سموكم الكريم شاكرا رعايتكم المباركة لتخريج الدفعة الحادية عشر من المرشحين الضباط بالأكاديمية الملكية للشرطة ومقدرا بخالص العرفان والتقدير ما نلقاه من دعم ومساندة من لدن سموكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم من أجل المحافظة على الكفاءة والجاهزية والروح المعنوية العالية لمنسوبي الوزارة سيدي صاحب السمو الملك من حسن الطالع أن يأتي تخريج هذه الدورة الفتية من المرشحين الضباط والبحرين تعيش مشاعر الانتماء وسط إدراك الجميع لبعد الرؤية الملكية السامية وعمق الثقة الوطنية في المشروع الإصلاحي لسيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه وإن الانسجام الوطني الذي أظهرته نتائج الانتخابات النيابية والمجالس البلدية الأخيرة عبر بصدق عن مستوى المسؤولية الوطنية في البلاد والتي تعتبر أهم مرتكزات البيئة الأمنية الصالحة وما كان هذا ليتحقق لولا تمسك البحرين قيادة وحكومة وشعب بطريق الحق والعدالة وبالقيم الوطنية الأصيلة وما أولته الحكومة من اهتمام بتحقيق النهضة الاقتصادية وتوفير العيش الكريم للمواطن ومراعاة احترام حقوق الإنسان إضافة إلى المستوى المتميز في الانضباط العام الذي تحلت به أجهزة إنفاذ القانون في أداء مسؤولياتها الأمنية وكل هذا ولا شك شكل دفعة معنوية عالية ومكتسبا وطنيا يدعونا كمواطنين ومسؤولين إلى ضرورة المحافظة على هذا الإنجاز الوطني التاريخي في إطار تحقيق أمننا الشامل سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الحضور الكريم ما يستحق الإشارة إليه في هذه المناسبة أيضا هو أننا ومن خلال العمل على تطوير الأداء الشرطي قطعنا شوطا طويلا في مجال مواكبة التطور التقني ومواجهة التحديات الأمنية بما في ذلك تشعب الجريمة وارتباطها الخارجي في إطار ما توفرها البيئة بيئة الاتصالات العالمية الحديثة وقد واكب ذلك تطورا على استراتيجيتنا الأمنية وذلك المرحلة القادمة تمثل في التركيز على تطوير العمل الأمني الاستباقي تحقيقا لمبدأ منع الجريمة والأمر الآخر هو ترسيخ مفهوم العمل بصورة مشتركة من خلال الربط الإلكتروني بين جميع الأجهزة الأمنية ذات العلاقة وتوحيد صورة الموقف الأمني والتركيز على تلبية مبدأ سرعة الاستجابة من خلال استخدام تطبيقات الذكاء الاصطناعي وتوظيفها في إدارة الأحداث الأمنية واتخاذ القرار وليتحقق ذلك فإن الأمر يتطلب إعداد كوادر مؤهلة قادرة على مواكبة تطورات العمل الأمني الحديث للعمل في صفوف ما تعرف بالشرطة الذكية وإن هذا المستقبل ينتظر المشاركة الفاعلة من قبل الضباط الخريجين والذين تم عدادهم بالعلم والعزم لمواكبة هذه التحديات في الأداء الشرطي ولكن من منطلق المسؤولية الأمنية يبقى الالتزام بالقانون والتمسك بالانضباط والتحلي بالنزاهة والعدل وتحمل المسؤولية 
من الأمور الأساسية التي لا تغيب عن ذهن المسؤولين عند تنفيذ الواجبات المناطة بهم ويطيب لي بهذه المناسبة أيها الخريجون الأعزاء أن أحيي فيكم الإرادة الوطنية التي دفعتكم للالتحاق بهذه المهنة الوطنية المقدرة والمشكورة وأهنيكم على اجتياز متطلبات التخريج بنجاح كما يسعدني أن أهني وأبارك لأهالي الخريجين جعلها الله يوما مباركا وإلى مزيد من التفوق والنجاح بإذن الله وفي الختام أسأل الله العلي القدير أن يديم على البحرين أيام العزة والمنعة والكرامة في ظل قيادة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه ودمتم سالمين سيدي والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أقسم بالله العظيم 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 أن أكون وفيا للبحرين أن أكون وفيا للبحرين أمينا على حقوقها أمينا على حقوقها مخلصا لمليكها المعظم مخلصا لمليكها المعظم مطيعا لجميع الأوامر الحقة مطيعا لجميع الأوامر الحقة التي تصدر إلي من رؤسائي محافظا على شرفي وسلاحي مؤديا اعمال وظيفتي بالصدق والامانه محترما قوانين البلاد وحقوق الناس والله على ما اقول شهيد مرشح ضابط فيصل ابراهيم السيد عبد الرحمن الهاشمي وقد حصل على الاول في المجموع العام مع مرتبه الشرف
the Ministry of Interior distributed the certificates to the graduates who were qualified according to the highest scientific and training levels, including graduates from a number of brotherly and friendly countries. The Minister congratulated them and hailed the good results they achieved, which reflects their security performance, wishing them success in serving the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued five decisions for the present year of 2018. Decision number two stipulates appointing Raghdan Saleh Abdul Rasul as Director of Public Revenue Directorate and Hala Abdul Rahman Siyadi as Director of Central Competencies Directorate at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. Decision number three stipulates appointing Mohammed Ibrahim Al Hamidi as Director of the Ports Operations and Technical Services Directorate at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. Decision number four stipulates moving Fatma Jafar al sayrafi from the post of Director of the Strategic Planning Directorate to the post of Director of Telecommunications and Media Relations in the National Communications Center. Decision five stipulates appointing Diana Faisal Sarhan as Director of the Public Libraries Directorate at the Ministry of Education. Decision number six stipulates appointing Abdurrahman Ismail Al Husni as Director of the Human and Financial Resources Directorate at the Legislative and Legal Authority. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday held his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. Members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Shura and Representative Councils, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis which demonstrates Bahraini's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst the Bahraini society. The majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the majlis and emphasized the important role of His Royal Highness plays and advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa patronized Khalifa Town residents' festivities lauding its historic and cultural significance. The modern city that combines Askar, Jo, and Adur and their suburbs was auspiciously named after His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and comprises housing projects. The ceremony included a patriotic poems, a welcoming speech which drew the admiration and applause from residents and officials, as well as the documentary on the city's aesthetics blending between traditional heritage and contemporary architecture as the first prototype housing project in the Southern Governorate. The governor participated with the residents in the Arda performance, sharing their joyousness as they celebrate their city's first anniversary of its establishment. They praised His Highness's patriotic efforts in consolidating the values of cohesion among the governorate's sons hailing from the various districts on these dear national occasions. At Arabian Gulf University this morning, professors, staff, guests, and students from various GCC countries celebrated Bahrain's 47th National Day, expressing happiness and pride on the occasion. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Arabian Gulf University students, staff, and professors from various GCC countries held a celebration recalling the march of a civilized nation with a long history, a prosperous present, and a bright future. We are pleased with the um, you know, contribution of the students to make this really work. They worked hard for it and we are thankful to the administration as well. They helped in all of this. As you can see, this car park usually is full of cars, but now it's much more alive and um, lots, to, lots of food, lots to celebrate. So we're really thankful and we hope Bahrain will stay always flourishing country and uh, happy National Day. The celebration included wonderful cultural performances, poetry, local music, and special activities in every corner. Moreover, traditional Bahraini products made by productive families. I like to wish Bahrain a very happy National Day. This is a very important day for all of us. Uh, it's a reminder of where we have all come together, especially the women. It's a reminder of the women empowerment in Bahrain. Uh, doing different tasks at the same time, in different positions, you see women all over. The happiness and enthusiasm of all participants, whether nationals or expatriates, reflects Bahrain's unique spirit and culture of coexistence. Congratulate Bahrain on their national day. It's really nice to see everybody in their, uh, in their red and white clothes. They're very patriotic. Um, today's events, is, they're really nice, uh, everybody seems to be enjoying it, there's lovely henna painting over there um, and all the students seem to be enjoying it too, they're young and they're interested in this kind of thing and they all seem to be very dedicated to their life here in Bahrain and to their work and even the people that are not from Bahrain who have come here are participating and they really feel like part of the country. The celebration of Bahrain's National Day is a reminder of how far Bahrain has come in its development march and is a renewal of the commitment of each member of its society to take part in its advancement. A wonderful celebration of Bahrain's National Day, gathering professors and students, nationals and expatriates and visitors from all over the world, representing Bahrain's unique social fabric. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdullah